In this week's lesson, we're going to look at flowcharts and what they mean to computing. Really important aspect of computer science, so um, we do need to focus on this and make sure we get the information correct. So let's have a look at um, what we're doing this week. So we need to understand what flowcharts are, how different flowchart symbols are used, and we will draw a flowchart using the correct symbols as we progress. So we've looked at algorithms before, you need to understand what an algorithm is, and that is a step-by-step -step series of instructions to solve a problem. So we need to remember this here. If you can learn this off by heart, that'd be brilliant. Step-by-step -step series of instructions to solve a problem. So here's a flow chart. This is what I'm doing at the moment. If I go out for my daily exercise, I check the weather. I look to see if it's sunny. If it's sunny, I put some block on. If it's not sunny, I don't put some block on. So this is a flow chart. It's a series of instructions moving down one after another um, in sequence using the direction of flow. So we start here with a terminator and our flow chart ends with a terminator. And here is a task and we look to see to check the weather. So a task has writing inside. This shape here is a diamond shape and that's because it's a decision. So the diamond is a choice. And on a choice here, we have a yes or a no. You'll see on my diagram, I haven't got a yes or a no, uh, but we do need a yes here and a no. So if it is sunny with a yes, we can put some block on and go down and stop. Going back to the decision, if it's not sunny, so if it's no, we don't put some block on and we still go to a stop. So that's how a flow chart works. So you need to know and write in your ePortfolio what an algorithm is. You need to say what a flowchart does. And we need to know where a flowchart begins. If we look back, we can see where a flowchart begins. You need to explain this. What name is given to the start and end symbols in a flowchart? So what do we call these shapes? So that's the first bit of information you need. Um, remember we've got lines in our flow chart that connect the information. This is the flow of direction, direction of flow. And we can see here that our arrows indicate that we're going down this way. Or at the decision, we go across this way and then down this way. So we can see the direction of flow. We've already mentioned that this shape here, the diamond shape is a decision. And we've got um, not so much examples in here of inputs but we've got checks here you could have an input on a flow chart where you have to type in the computer or press a button for the next thing to happen and again we've not got any outputs on our flow diagram here but an output could be information displayed on the screen or a buzzer ringing um, on a speaker so you've got all the information you need to be able to answer these four questions and these additional four questions and you can add these into your ePortfolio. Now let's just go back to my information here just to recap that. If we look at the flow diagram we can see the terminator here for the start and stop. We can see the direction of travel. I did say that I needed to include a yes and a no. So is it sunny? If it is, we can put a yes in here. And if it's not sunny, the answer this way is no, and it goes along here. So we've got all the information you need to be able to answer your questions, hopefully. So your next task. In your ePortfolio, you need to write down the steps of how you can make a cup of tea. Now, there are lots of decisions when making cups of tea, and Everybody drinks their cup of tea slightly differently. Some have sugar, some have milk and so on. So any of those decisions need to go into your flow diagram. Once you've written the instructions, you can create your flow diagram using the shapes and the symbols I showed you earlier. Now, in your G Suite, you can use the Google Apps button and in your slides, what you can create in here as part of your ePortfolio that you're going to submit back to me for checking is 
you can draw flowchart symbols. So I'm just going to add a new slide in here. And in here, you can insert a shape. Now, in these shapes are every flowchart symbol you're going to need. So I've got my terminators here. Flowchart terminator. I can click this and drag this in. And this allows me to type straight away. I can just type start. And I can then insert my other shapes. I can have an arrow. So we've got direction of flow. I can show that. I can insert another shape. And this time I can put in my box. So if this is me making a cup of tea, first thing I'll do in here, first task is put the kettle on and so on to create my flow diagram using Google Slides. So that's how to create your flow diagram in Google Slides for you making a cup of tea. And once you've done that, as an extension task, you've got this task on here where on your ePortfolio you can write an algorithm to calculate the five times table and create a flow chart to be able to do that. And then if you have done that, you can have an input to work out what times multiplication you wish to work out. So this is the lesson you need to complete. It needs to be all included on your ePortfolio and then submitted to Mr. Dows and myself, Mr. Lucas, uh, by sharing it on Google Drive or emailing it to Mr. Dows or myself. Um, hopefully see you soon. And that is the work that you need to complete uh, for this week. I hope. Thank you.